Um, I'm an architect, a author, as you heard. I have taught architecture. I have worked in the nonprofit community. I now distribute Microsoft's money into the community. But here I am talking about technology. I am not a technologist. Actually, my kids laugh at me whenever I talk about technology. But why do I want to talk to you about technology today? It is simply because each and every one of us are experiencing a fundamental change because of the power of technology. When man first landed on the moon and we saw our beautiful planet in stark contrast to a piece of rock, we realized then and then the central beauty of who we are. What is happening today is the same. Information and information flow through technology has fundamentally changed the way in which each and every one of us experience the other. We are no longer at the end of the information flow. We are at the center of information flow. We are creators, we are consumers, and we are contributors all at the same time. And because of that, we are seeing an amazing shift and how each and every one of us, including myself, can contribute to innovation in a way that has never been possible. Take gaming as an example. Microsoft launched the Kinect. How many of you have used it? Well, all of you should use it simply because if not today, tomorrow that technology is something that is going to become central to how we are going to interact with a device. A simple camera that allows you to move and control a game. It sold 10 million copies in six months. But at the same time, we also saw a huge amount of innovation that came about where people are using that technology to put a robot to go under a building for search and rescue, for education purposes, for medical purposes, for other social games that is bringing about tremendous change. What I want to demonstrate for you here today is the work that our colleagues from the University of Washington, the Department of Electrical Engineering have done. Frederick Ryden, who is sitting down there, the PhD student, and Professor Howard Chiswick have developed what is a very fascinating tool, which is a remote touch a device that allows you to touch and feel objects at a distance using the Kinect. So what you're going to see is Frederick here is going to move a device which is a robotic arm, which is a commercially available device. And on the other side, now if I can get the, ah, there we go. So what you are seeing is the hand is moving with the object because Frederick is moving the robotic arm on one side. This is not magic. This is happening 
because of a computer that is connected to the connect and information is being relayed. Now, if I can have Professor Chizik move his hand and see what happens there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Come on. And I'm not even a magician. Now, what is the importance of that? Because what it is doing is that you are able to do a remote haptic control, which essentially means that in an emergency, if you had a smart stretcher, a doctor could operate in a remote way and yet get touch sensations by moving the robotic surgery arm. You as an individual, because of this technology, can feel the computer, I mean, feel the sculpture by sitting on the web and exploring it. A blind person can, through a remote location, sense touch. This is what we are seeing because thousands of individuals, like our two colleagues from the University of Washington, are using what is a simple gaming device, a $150 camera, and I've turned that into something that can radically change the way in which we interact. So what does that mean for all of us? One, you have the power to change. There are three things you can take out of this talk. Is one, all of us, because of the interconnectedness of technology, we can make change. And we are seeing that. Whether it is in Tunis, Egypt, Libya, or right here with Occupy Wall Street. That connectedness is because of each and one, every one of us. Second, we, all of us, can play an important role in driving innovation. You don't have to be a technologist, nor do you have to be a multinational company to drive innovation. A platform developed for gaming is being changed because there are hundreds of thousands of individuals writing new code on top of that, and the company is making that available for non-commercial and commercial users so that you can completely transform the way in which innovation happens. And finally, don't be afraid of disruption. Harness it. Disruption happens every single day. And if we harness it, together, we have the power to make change. Thank you.